Hello, uh, Chuckles the Jester here again. Um, with a little bit of a change up thanks to some advice from a friend, but this is part two of my Jumanji Collector Edition review. I'm doing this part simply because there, I probably should have done a bit of closer looks at the accessories. Well, that is what I am covering in this video. Of course, of course, the dice are are simplistic. They're just simply six-sided dice with the divots in it, but the edges and corners are a bit more rounded. They bounce a little bit easier, in my opinion. The Jumanji die is the is the new is the new six-sided die with the with three Jumanji symbols: challenge, journey, and life count and life cards now for the tokens there is the ivory rhino it actually is nicely detailed it even has text molded texture like right here it looks like it's kind of it's got pores just like it appeared in the movie the silver elephant has some nice markings done to make it look like it's got grooves. The obsidian crocodile. Nice and glossy black, just like obsidian, just like obsidian is meant to be. With a cheeky little smile. <laughs> and the cheat monkey. Hmm, even has a motor tail. And, a co and I didn't realize this till I actually had was hands on. That, ugh, if my camera could focus, he's actually grinning, baring his teeth. Mm, come on, focus, focus, focus. Hmm, here as well. Now. Now, for those special type. Now, let's go over the life counter cards. They come in five variants. Dice, added dice roll. Added space forward. Escape trap. Plus one, add a life to another player and Reroll dice. First is the add dice total. They come in three variants. Adding one, two, and three. The add one to the roll, there are only three. For the add two, there are, of course, only two. And for the add three, there is only one. Now for the the next is the spaces forward. Similarly, it comes in intervals of one, two, and three. With a course in amounts of three, two, and one cards. Then is the escape trap. There are only two of these. As far as I know, you can only use these to, es to escape uh, a, a hunter trap. As the other kind of trap is the jungle and you and you have, and someone has to roll a five or eight to get you out of that. Then it's the life to a, another player. Again, there are only two of. If you, if on your turn you play one of these, the, another player of your choosing gets to draw a life card. And if they already have three, they have to discard one without using its, its benefit. And finally, the re-roll. Again, only two. 
if you, in any case, you roll the two six-sided dice, but you're unable to get what you need to beat a trap, you can always use one of these to re-roll. Now, for the... Now, next are the actual Jumanji cards. The instruction says that there are 51 cards. I'll be go over them by type. First, the danger cards. These actually have the riddles, just like in the movie. But there are some that are or that weren't in the movie. So let's go over them in the order in which they first appeared in terms of the green danger cards. First is the bats. They fly at night, you'd better run. These winged things are not much fun. And there are three of that of these of the bats. With the with these cards, you have to roll higher than a you have to roll a five or higher, six or higher, or seven or higher. With with moving intervals of two, three, and four. Next is the mosquito. A little bite will make you itch, make you sneeze, make you twitch. There are three of those. You have to get higher than a four. You have to roll five or higher, seven or higher, or eight or higher. If interval with move with move intervals of two, three, and four. And then the monkeys, pesky little monkeys. This will not be an easy mission. Monkeys slow the exposition. <coughs> this will not be an easy mission. Monkeys slow the expedition. And there are three of those. And you have to roll. And you have to roll a uh, eight or higher, nine or higher, or ten or higher, with intervals of five, six, and seven spaces. The amount of spaces per danger is actually different. Now, the lion. His fangs are sharp. He likes your taste. You, your party better move post-haste. And there are three. And you have to roll eight or higher, ten or higher, uh, and eleven or higher with interval with space intervals of five, six, and seven. Now the vines. They grow much faster than bamboo. Take care or they'll come after you. And there are three of those. And you have to roll high. And you have to roll high. And you have to roll eight or high. An eight or higher on the first two, but a nine or higher on the third, with, with space intervals of four, five, and six. Then the spiders. Need a hand? Why well, you just wait? We'll help you out. We each have eight. And there are three of them. Where you have to where you have to roll a nine or higher on all three. Oh, I get it now. Eight. Eight legs. With space intervals of four, five, and six. Now, we get to some new ones that 
Although some of the animals did appear in the mo in the actual move in the first movie, the riddles never came up. First, we have snakes. They slither and they're quick. Their bites will turn blood thick. And there are two of them. And you have to roll a six or higher and a seven or higher with space intervals of two and three. Now we have the crocodile. This animal did appear in the movie during the monsoon, but it never actually had a riddle. Now just stay calm. That's no smile. You've just angered this toothy reptile. And there are two of them. Where you have to roll an eight or higher, or an and a nine or higher, with intervals of five and six. Now we got bird. There was a pelican, but this, uh, going by the wording, is more of an actual bird of prey. Note the sharp claws and heed some advice. Don't mess with its nest. Or pay the price. And there are two of them. And you have to roll eight or higher or nine or higher with intervals of five and six, fifth spaces of five and six. Now is the rhino. Again, another creature that actually appeared in the movie but never had its own riddle. This ton of Excuse me, this ton of beast is well suited to fight. A horn in your side would be quite a plight. And there are two of them. Where you have to roll a nine or higher or a ten or higher with space intervals of six and seven. Hmm. So far, it seems that the ones that were actually in the movie, there are three copies of, but the new ones, there are only two of. Hmm. Next is the cheetah. This one never appeared in the movie at all. If you see their spots, it's not too late. You better run fast or meet your fate. Just as I'm speculating, there are only two. And with these cards, you have to roll a 10 or higher or an 11 or higher with, inter with move intervals of 7 and 8. Hippos. I can't quite remember if there were any hippos in the first movie, but there was the hippo in the second movie. Don't be eager to strike a pose, or you'll be crushed by two hippos. Hmm, huh. hungry, hungry hippos. Yep, and there are only two. Here, you have to roll 11 or 12, while the other one, you have to roll a 12 to beat it. With move in intervals of 8 and 9. Hmm, high risk for high amounts of moves. And finally, a panther. Ready a torch when you hike in the dark. This massive cat is no walk in the park. Just like the previous one, you have to roll a 11 or 12. Or a, or, excuse me, sorry. A 12 with move intervals of 8 and 9. Now, we get onto the orange danger cards. These are more environmental. The green ones were animals. These revolve around the environment and weather. There are only four of them, but they each have different combinations of, so to say, disadvantages. There is the stampede. Don't be fooled, it isn't thunder. Staying put would be a blunder. Now, with this one, you have one where everyone goes back. 
and everyone has to go back two spaces. While the other one, it is pick a player to go back. So you can pick a single, one of the other three to go back three spaces. Next is the storm. Every month at the quarter moon, there'll be a monsoon and your lagoon. Each of these and the orange danger cards, there are only two of, just letting you know. The first one is everyone goes back three spaces. While the other one is pick, pick a player to go back four spaces. Some of these can share the same, the same disadvantage, but different amount of moves. Next is the quicksand. Beware the ground, which you stand. The floor is quicker than sand. The first one is you pick a player to go back two spaces. Well, the other one is you and another player go back three spaces. So this one will affect you and someone else. And finally, Earthquake. You're almost there, much at stake. Now the ground begins to quake. Now this one is a neat one. Everyone except you go back three spaces. Mm, this one is definitely an advantage card if you're the one that, pull, that draws it. Well, the other one is you and another player go back four spaces. Now, now that we got the danger cards over with, now is for the trap cards, which is where the special little tiles come, come into play. First is the jungle, jungle trap. There are one, two, three, four, five, six of these with four tiles, one for each player. Tiles looking like four leaves, and they are the same forward and back. This essentially represents Alan's first riddle. In the jungle you must wait until the dice read five or eight. This is self-explanatory. If you get this, you have to put the tile underneath your animal token. And until someone else rolls a five or eight, you are stuck. You yourself can also roll when it's your turn, only the two side dice, but if you are able to roll a five or eight, you don't, you, are, you do remove the jungle tile, but you do not move. And now the hunter tile. There are five of them, but their amounts are all different. These revolve around the Hunter token, which has, a, which has the appearance of Ven Pelt from the actual top side of the game. Well, the reverse side is, is a pair of spears. I will get into what, they, what the spears are used for. Now, if you get a Hunter, to a hunter trap, Basically, you have to roll higher than the amount on the card. Wait, let me actually put one little thing. Beat the hunter by rolling higher than what is shown on the card. If you can see, discard hunter card. Ah. If you are able to beat the hunter by rolling higher than the amount, you flip you flip the hunter token oh the tile over and you get and you get a spear tile spears can be used to basically get out of a hunter trap but if you use a spear to get out of a hunter trap you do not gain one so it's just simply fair that way if you use one you will not regain it now as for the actual amounts we have where you have to roll a, a five or higher, six or higher, seven or higher, eight or higher, and a nine or higher. Now, I believe that is everything that needs to be covered. 
Oh, wait. <laughs> I almost actually forgot the thing. The hunter trap essentially represents the trap, the riddle that that released Van, that released Van Pelt in the first movie. Which was, luckily I have a list of them here on my, on my phone. A hunter from the darkest wild makes you feel just like a child. Now, that is everything for the accessories. I hope you enjoyed this little review of, of all the little bits that come with the Jumanji Collector Edition board game.